What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model the famous Miss van der Rohe's Barcelona Pavilion in Revit. So this is an iconic structure, it's like one of my favorite pavilions, it, it looks really cool, it's quite, quite modernist, quite elegant. So I'm just going to be showing you how to use the plans uh, or just to, how to use an image from the internet to basically transform into a Revit model that you can render or do whatever you want with it. But anyway, before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot, and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this project, and before I do anything, I just like to set the units to meters, so just type in UN, and then go over here for a length and let's just change that to meters then hit OK and we're done with that next thing we need to import something that we're going to be working with because I don't really have the floor plan in my head so I'm just going to be moving Revit out the way and as you can see here on my desktop I've got this image so you can either uh, go to insert and then go to image and then find it or the easiest way just drag it over and place it there now maximize Revit and now let's scale it. So I don't have any dimensions over here, but what I do know is that the length of this pool is around 25 meters, or it's exactly 25 meters. So I'm just going to be selecting the image, and then here you've got the scale command, or you can just use the shortcut RE, which is the scale command, and then you just pick the point where the swimming pool begins, then you pick the point where it ends, then you can extend it a bit and you just type in the number, so 25 in this case, and this looks alright. Now let's just kind of center the floor plan a bit, this is uh, just the, uh, the elevation, but we don't need that. So make sure that the floor plan is centered, and as you can see here, our uh, little uh, elevation marks are intruding on the image, so just move them out of the way, and now we can start modeling. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be placing walls and setting the material for walls. Luckily this image has, like in the floor plan, it says uh, the type of a wall or the material of the wall, so it's going to make everything a lot, a lot easier. So let's go with architecture, wall, or again shortcut, WA, and let's use this basic wall generic 200 millimeter because it's, I think it's the right size for these walls over here. So maybe just go like that, go all the way down, following the lines, and like that. Maybe then you can select it and kind of use the arrows to move it a bit, but don't worry, we don't have to be too precise for this project. Anyway, let's continue on. So again, go wall and let's do this one here and uh, these uh, white ones they're actually going to be kind of curtain walls so I'm going to do that a bit later so let's do this one and to align it to this so you just type in AL for align you select this line you select this line and then you can just lock it in place so if you decide to move this this thing will move with it so that's that's kind of cool to do Anyway, so let's go here, so we've got this big wall, so again go architecture, wall, and let's place that one. And this is just a bench, so don't worry about that. Then we've got this wall here, this will be a marble wall, as well as this that's encompassing the little swimming pool area. And let's close this off here, and again here it, it will continue with a glass wall. But anyway, let's just finish with these uh, generic 200 millimeter walls, and then we can move to glass walls. So let's do this one, and uh, finally this one. Okay, so once we have all of the walls in place, you can just go and select all of them, and then maybe change the... Uh, the base constraints or the top constraint actually just change it to a level 2 so it's the right height of the wall and then we can go and play some curtain walls so for curtain walls again go to wall or WA search for a curtain floor curtain wall with a storefront name so this is the one that has all the mullions in it and then you just go from here to here and then you need to flip it to the other side so you just select it and use these two little arrows so you flip it to the other side then let's continue on with a wall, so you continue on here. Place a wall like that, place one here as well. 
and let's go where else do we have it okay let's do one of these I don't know where there are two but anyway let's do this one and this one as well do we have any more no that's it okay so once we're done with the curtain walls maybe we can select them just to make sure that they're at the right height so select them all and go here again to level 2 maybe I should have done this previously so I don't have to repeat this process but anyway so we've got these walls in place now let's do the floor plan and the roof or the floor and the roof so for that go to floor and here we've got a bunch of floors so the 300 is the biggest but I would like this to be a bit thicker as you can see here it's got uh, it's got mass so let's go into edit type duplicate and let's go crazy with it let's do something like a thousand millimeters or one meter so this is a very very thick wall or thick floor slab okay okay and now let's just go with the rectangle so I usually like to start with one rectangle and then I gonna add all of the other necessary elements so now we can go from here to here kinda go like this and do the little stairs part here as well okay so once you've done this you're just going to trim and extend TR is the shortcut or you can use this here icon over here and then you just trim this trim and extend this let's see trim and extend this and this as well and then you go with the rectangle and you just do the pools so just make sure that they align to the walls as well as this one here so you just go to the wall and you finish it okay so we got the holes for the wall for the pools and let's just hit finish okay so that's what we have and as you can see now we can't really see our our image so I'm just going to go here to wireframe for a second so I can see my my roof as you can see we've got this dashed line which is very useful for the roof so we can see everything in only one floor plan so let's go to floor again let's change the level from level 1 to level 2 and let's change the floor to generic 300 and let's do a rectangle so this will be simple just a, a couple of rectangles do the first one here and for the pool area you've got some sunlight coming in which is quite nice when you've got a pool and let's do this one over here kinda like that okay and hit finish uh, now it asks you to attach all of the walls to the bottom of the of the floor slab or the roof and you just hit yes in this case because that's what we want and now we get these kind of curtain wall mullions that uh, need to be deleted so you just go delete elements and now if we go into 3d this is already looking quite quite modernist but anyway as you can see over here this wall is attached to this uh, I guess you would call it a roof and this one isn't so this one is because we it doesn't have any roof above it it isn't attached so we need to attach it so what you can do you can either select this kinda slide it but it doesn't snap to this thing so the easiest thing to do is just type in AL for align and then align this to that and that's it and same thing here so you just go align this to that because again this didn't have that roof above it but anyway so we've got that in place and now the pools are just a couple of holes which doesn't look very nice so let's go back into level one and before we do the pools actually there are some columns over here there are probably some one of those elegant cool columns so let's model those first so let's just go to structure and go to column and then load one column in so let's drop back a folder go to metric find columns structural columns and let's go with steel columns let's see do we have something round uh, circular hollow well let's open it up and see how big does it get okay it's large enough so let's go with maybe to 250 it, it's a thin column it shouldn't be too big so let's go with this yeah perfect and uh, before I place it I'm just going to change the material to chrome because I like to make it look cool and chrome and I think that's how it looks in the real pavilion so and uh, it didn't appear so I'm just going to uh, go back a second and it's because here it's set to depth instead instead of height so I'm just going to change this to height now and uh, let's connect it to level 2 and just place one here one there one here 
and one here in the end. Kind of like that. And then you can just select the columns. Oops, I didn't want to do that. So how do you select just the columns? Okay, and just go filter, check none, structural columns. Okay, apply. Okay, and now you can just go to copy or CO is the shortcut. And then you just copy from here all the way down here. There you go. It looks looks cool. Anyway, so let's do the swimming pool. So go back to architecture, floor, and let's choose a different floor. Let's go with a generic 150. And for the level, let's give it an offset of minus, what's one meter uh, minus uh, 15 centimeters? That's 85. So let's go minus 0.85. Okay. And do the rectangle here and here. So this is the floor of the uh, of the pool. And let's set its material immediately so we don't have to do it later. So just go here and let's search for some uh, stone. And it's got some rubble or something like that. So let's find that here. Yeah, so that's the that's how it looks in real life. So that's what we're going to be using. So just hit OK, apply, OK, and we're done. Okay, so now we need to add the water and we need to change the materials of everything. So let's go like this. Let's do the Let's do the walls first. So let's go maybe into floor plan because it's easiest. So this is uh, this travel line. We've got the same thing here, 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 everywhere on this side. Do we have it here? Nope. Okay. So just go here into edit type, duplicate. Let's call it generic T for travel line. And then just go here, search for the material. Let's go stone. And it's here somewhere. Okay, here you go. Load it in, apply, okay, it's done. Okay, and let's do the marble second. So let's select all of the marble walls. Now, it's got different kinds of marble here, but as Revit only, as far as I know, comes with one, uh, one marble material. Okay, something is selected, it shouldn't be selected. Do, do, do. Let's see what. Let's try again. Okay, just the walls. Okay, here we go, just the walls, and now let's... Okay, multiple types of walls. Well, I don't know what I've selected. That's different. Okay, this one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so these are all marble walls, so let's go into edit type, let's duplicate them, and call it generic M for marble, and go OK edit and let's search for the material so let's go to stone again and let's see what we get or maybe not let's let's just search it like this so just search here find stone and yeah as you can see we've only got this marble we don't have the green one so let's just use that one for everything it will be our little secret and just hit ok Okay, and there you go. So this is now made out of marble. And let's go into 3D and let's, let's change the roofs. Maybe they can be some white material as well as this. So let's go here and uh, to do that, yeah, let's go into edit type for this. So edit type, edit, and for white, let's go with just gypsum wallboard as it's easiest to find. Apply OK and the same thing here. Edit, search, gypsum wallboard. OK, OK, OK. OK, so just do the water now and we're done. So let's go to component, model in place, and let's search for. Well, let's just call it generic model. Who cares? So to do this now, we need to go to extrusion and let's set the work plane. Pick a plane, OK, let's pick this plane and now we'll just do a rectangle from, let's go from the inside, OK, to the outside. Place it like that, OK, do the same thing here. And place it over here, just go finish. And let's make it a bit deeper, so let's go I don't know, 0.8, or is that too deep? Yeah, let's go 0.5. 
Yeah, that's, oops, not minus, 0. 0.5. Yeah, that's look, that looks good enough. And let's just change the material to something uh, watery. Yeah, let's use this water, or maybe this water. I don't know which is best. Which water is best water? Yeah, let's go with this one. I think it's nicer. At least for this project. Hit apply. OK. Finish model. And as you can see now, these uh, columns are actually kind of poking through. So I'm just going to select everything, go into filter, check none, structural columns, apply, OK. Attach top a base, select this, and now it works better. OK. And let's just go into realistic to see what this looks like. Ooh, this is really nice. Okay, there you go. This is Miss Van der Rohe's uh, Barcelona Pavilion. And if you want to get this model, just go to my Patreon, first link in the description, and you can download it if you become a Premium Balkan Architect member. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future tuto tuto tutor tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.